Alright, this is a theme downloaded from K's, but he couldn't figure out how to animate it. It's a little animated for him. We have three buttons on the side. I'm guessing home, apps, settings. So if we look at what's placed, we have, we're looking for the panels. So we have custom panel one has respring and sleep and flashlight, so I'm guessing that's settings. Custom panel zero is the main home. Custom panel two is the apps. There's a lot of placeholders. So let's start by adding the action to home. It's got one custom panel, so let's just delete all. Let's start over. So when this button is pressed, we want to affect custom panel zero. There's one, and that's zero. When this button is pressed, we want the X value which is left and right to be zero because we're on the home. Okay, we also want um, custom panel one. X to be 320. The width of lock, a lot plus screens are 320. So when that button's pressed, it's gonna move it off the screen, 320. And we also want to affect custom panel two. Also put it off the screen, 320. Okay. By default, we want both of these panels to be 320, so let's just see where they're at. Custom panel one, left is 320 already. Custom panel two, left is three negative, so let's just move it over to 320. That's the first part. This this is just getting the home screen set up. So if you want the apps, which is just double check. Apps are on custom panel two. So we do this. We add an action that says delete these. We'll affect <clears throat> custom panel two. Let's do custom panel zero first, the main screen, because we don't, we want it to move out of the way. So custom panel zero, we'll do X, and we'll do 320. And then custom panel two, we'll make the X negative 320. We want to move it over 320. So if we close this now, test it. Should yeah. applications come in, home screen goes off. We hit the home button, the home screen comes back, and the apps go off. The settings button does not do anything. If you notice, if we keep hitting that button, it's toggling between two. We don't want it to do that, so let's fix that real quick. So we go to um, this, go back to our actions. And the action on these two, toggle. This will disable the toggle action of styles, enter true or false. We won't disable. We'll do that on the other two as well. We'll 
test it. We'll go apps. Now if we hit the same button again, see how it doesn't toggle. It doesn't toggle that movement. It only does one. On the applications, we still have a toggle on that. So we should remove it as well. Actions. Disable. And disable. Tool test. We hit it once. Applications come in. Hit it again, nothing happens. If we hit home, we'll get our home page back. So let's do settings now. Uh, let's double check. what the settings panel was. That would be custom panel one. So we hit it, action, effect, custom panel one. We want it to move on the X axis, negative 320. That'll make it come over. Now when we hit this button, we also wanted to move custom panel zero off the screen. And we'll go X and we'll move it 320. Remember from before we don't want this to be a toggle, so we'll go ahead and turn off toggle. And we'll test that. Settings come in, home goes out. We do the opposite there. Now, if we open apps and hit settings, you notice the applications do not move out. So, we need to make up for that in this toggle. So, if we go, we want to add an action on custom panel two. Custom panel two is shown. Then we want it to move off the screen as well. Custom panel two. We want it to go off the screen, so 320. Uh, we do not want it to be toggled, so we'll turn that off. So we test. Home screen with her. Apps, pulls the apps in. We get settings after apps. It'll push it out of the way as well. Now, go home. Just checking different ways. If the settings is open, what happens when you press apps? Okay, it doesn't move settings out of the way. So if we go back, go to the apps. I'm going to add action to custom panel one, which is our settings. Custom panel one. We also want to move it off the screen when that button is pressed. And toggle, we want that off. And we'll test again. So settings is open. When we press apps, it moves settings out of the way and moves applications in. When we hit home, it moves applications out. Home in. If we go settings and then home works as it should. We go apps to settings. It works as it should. Now we can adjust all these effects we added. Like if we wanted to change how fast it was, we can change the speed, which is in milliseconds. So 100 milliseconds. 1000 milliseconds will be one second. We're going to do pretty fast at 100. So we can just add this to all these. Speed 100. Speed 100. Okay, so when we hit the home button, 
everything will move a lot quicker than it does on the other buttons, you'll see. So if we open application, see it's a slow animation, you hit home, see how it pops up. Slow, fast. You can change this on all the buttons that we did. Because ideally you would want all animations to be the same speed. We can do speed 100. It's a little repetitive, but it gives you fine control over each element you're modifying. So that's that one. Close that. We can do settings, actions, and we'll do speed 100. If you notice, each button, we're adjusting every panel. Custom panel 0, 1, and 2. And that's just to get them out of the way. If one is shown, it'll move it out of the way. So now, we have quick. And you can change that to however you want. And that's, that's about it. That's how you would animate panels in like that. And as you see, since we used, uh, on the action, since we used the x-axis, x instead of left, um, the animations are a lot more fluid. Left, you may see some, you see how we just went through them and they just snapped in. If you use left, it, it could have some um, jitter to it. X and Y is, is very, very... It's hardware accelerated, so it'll be very quick, as you see. Like, no matter how many times you do it, it'll, it'll be as it should be. This is short because he made this on uh, a smaller device that's not an X. It would need to be modified to an X device or to a bigger device. And that's as easy as, you know, finding the elements like that box and just changing the height of it. Even if it goes off the screen, it doesn't matter. Let's see. And maybe you want to move the controls. Of course, all these panels would need to be longer. Maybe elements moved, but it's pretty simple to do. Just by selecting the elements, see box two. Box two and custom panel zero. So we know that's the background. And you can just drag it down and do whatever, move it however. But that shows how to do the animations at least. Once you export this to front page, um, FF test, and then. Once you're here, and then we can load, um, what was it, FF test, and then you can see um, we have no animations. Oh, because I loaded before. If we reload the page, was it FF test? course you can change all your badges and everything to fit so if we would app options and toggles we can hide labels which I think is how he has it designed and if you want to add an app you can just change the app to any app you want and even icon images So you can get it all set up, or users can get it set up however they want. Same on the home screen. Change these apps or whatever. That's it.
that's it. I mean, that's uh, making a front page theme in Vlog Plus, adding anim animations. Pretty simple.